Hey guys, John from DobermanPlanet.com. Uh, I told you last week that I'd give you an update on my dog Cooper, um, and unfortunately, I took a while to make this video because I knew it was going to be a tough one to make. Um, my dog Cooper, full-blooded European Doberman, uh, has died from uh, hepatitis, um, specifically a copper storage issue with his liver. I uh, I didn't know this is why he was losing interest in food. Basically, um, let me give you a little backstory of kind of what happened. Uh, so if you're dealing with hepatitis in your dog, um, you'll be aware of this. And it's also good if you're considering a Doberman, since they are prone to liver disease issues, to be aware of this. Um, so you kind of know what to look, to look for. Because if you catch it early, you can definitely uh, give these dogs a, a full lifespan. Um, sometimes it's out of your control. My dog's liver was, uh, and his genetic issue was past the point of, of fixing it, um, even catching it early, which we did. We did catch it early. It didn't make it a difference though. Um, so basically what happened was, starting from the beginning about 10 months ago or so, um, uh, he started having higher liver enzyme numbers on his blood work that he would get every year. I'm doing this off memory, so don't quote me if I'm exactly, uh, I, I may not be exactly right, but if I remember correctly, his ALT liver enzymes should have been under 100, ideally, and they started creeping up. They started getting to 200, 300. Um, <clears throat> first, they started him on a prescription diet. He went on a liver care diet um, to see if that would help bring down his liver enzyme numbers, and it didn't. Uh, so, they did some more checking and, and eventually they, they, they couldn't really figure out what was making his liver enzymes go up and, and why his liver was having this problem. They did a liver function test, which for that they have him eat something and then they check how well his liver's processed what he's eaten uh, through the blood work. And, and he did great on that initially about 10 months ago. Um, <clears throat> so he, uh, his liver numbers got worse and we ended up doing a biopsy and they discovered he had a copper storage issue. So copper would build up in his liver. Um, that is not always deadly for dogs. It's, um, this is a common thing. It can happen with Dobermans. It's very serious, but it's not always deadly. We got him on a medication our vet recommended called penicillamine. Um, and he was also on something called Denimarin. Denimarin's over the counter. It's just a liver supportive uh, supplement that helps support the liver and its functions just to help make sure that there's less likelihood of damage as these things are going on and as we're medicating him. Uh, penicillamine was a prescription drug we gave him that's supposed to help um, bind with the copper and, and help him pass it through his system so he can clear it out. So he was on that for about 10 months. Um, in the last two months, he started losing interest in eating. It started by just uh, it, it was very subtle. He, he initially just we put down his food and he wasn't super interested in it. Um, until like an hour later, then he'd come back and eat it. Um, which is a little weird, right? Because usually he, he's a big dog, he wolfs down his food. Um, and uh, he eventually became a couple hours, eventually became, he wouldn't eat until the middle of the night, and then eventually he was skipping meals altogether and he started losing weight. And that's uh, when we brought him to, well, we eventually started going back to the, to the vet over and over and it, it got so bad and they weren't giving us answers and eventually he was kind of not getting out of bed in the morning, um, getting more and more lethargic, uh, just not wanting to move a lot, very disinterested in his food. We brought him to the, uh, to the vet. They looked at him. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a long story, but basically they initially thought, well, hey, maybe they, they were checking his enzyme numbers and they got up to like 500, his ALT enzymes for his liver, up to 500, 700. At one point they got to about 1,000, which, which is a lot, but it's still, I've heard of Dorman's getting the 2300, 2500 level range for his AL, for ALT enzymes. And then they get this medication and brings it back down and they get under, under the 100 mark and eventually they can phase off of the penicillamine and then they're not on that prescription drug anymore and they can live a full life. So I wasn't too worried at a thousand. I mean, he was getting up there, I was getting a little concerned. But um, right after that, he started coming down, started coming down about the 700 range, uh, and then, the, then even lower. Um, so, I talked this over with UC Davis Medical Center, um, the, the, their small animal veterinarian, and uh, they thought, well, maybe something else is going on. They checked his stomach. They found two socks in his stomach. So, great. We thought that was it. 
they remove the two socks. Uh, they did a little orthoscopic surgery where they go in through the mouth and uh, they pulled out the socks and he wasn't recovering from his anesthesia very well. He just wasn't passing, he wasn't filtering out of his blood and he was, he was still out of it even a day or two later. So they did some more tests and eventually found out, well, it wasn't a blockage in his system. His liver is actually just dying. And the reason why the liver enzyme numbers are coming down, it's not because, you know, good news, he's passing out all that copper from his liver and his liver's not getting damaged. No, his liver enzymes were coming down because his liver was so shriveled and small <coughs> that there wasn't um, anything left to destroy, to damage. So that's why his numbers are coming down. You know, I just want to share the story. Um, eventually... We spent some time with him up there at UC Davis. We took him on a walk, on a picnic out there. We spent some, a good last, you know, we spent a couple of days up there in the hospital and eventually it became clear. Um, and, and the doctors told us when that kind of helped us with, when that point came that he was, uh, that when they ran all the tests, they decided, look, there's now a 0% chance of recovery. I was trying to hold out hope, but it became to the point where there was 0% chance of recovery. And uh, he was just suffering for the sake of suffering. And then his kidneys started giving out also. So um, my wife and I made a decision to put him down. Um, it was incredibly difficult, but I want to tell you guys kind of what happened with that. just a big presence in this house you know uh, <laughs> uh, obviously you know my whole website's based around him and based around um, Dobermans in general and I just love that guy to death and so I, I hate to tell you that my co-host is not going to be here anymore on these videos um, so uh, you know we were with him when they put him down it was peaceful it was very very peaceful uh, my wife and I and my young son were um, um, well, my young son said goodbye to him and then left, but my wife and I were with him, holding him and as he passed. So he wasn't alone by any means, uh, tons of love. And um, uh, we had great care at UC Davis, great care. They did everything they could. So they've since done autopsy and, and nothing, um, nothing surprising came up, just his liver was going. Um, we had good hopes that he was gonna live a full life. And a lot of times with his hepatitis, you can live a full life if you catch it early. We caught it early, but his was so bad genetically that it was just a losing battle for him. If your dog gets diagnosed with it, don't lose hope. You can absolutely medicate him and, and get him off of the medication and have him live a full life. I just wasn't so lucky. That's all. Thank you guys for the support and everything um, on this channel and, and on my website. Um, I'm not done with the Doberman breed. This, is, this isn't over. Um, at some point, when I feel like I'm ready and um, my family's ready, emotionally and otherwise, um, I will um, be looking for another uh, another dog for us. And uh, I can guarantee I'm not done with the Doberman breed. They're just two amazing dogs. But um, there may be a slight delay between now and my next video. Um, I hope hopefully you guys can understand. But uh, thank you for the support, and um, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. If your dog is diagnosed with hepatitis, I'd love to help other people through this. Hit that subscribe button down below, you'll get at least notified, and hit that little bell icon, you'll get at least notified when um, I do make another video. I'm going to try to keep up on a, on a good schedule for you guys and keep the videos coming. I know a lot. there's a lot of people who email me and say that you're really enjoying it and you're learning a lot. Um, and also, if you go to dormanplanet.com slash newsletter, uh, and sign up there. You'll also get notified of any big changes on my website when they happen. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it.